everybody. I'm going to do a quick photo journal um, today and the products I'm using, I'm using the 7 Gypsies a 5x7 vertical, the naked book here. It's got tabs on it and it's held together by binding rings. It's chipboard. I'm going to use these 8x8 printable papers uh, from our website at Marion Smith Designs. And uh, this is called the Planes, Trains, and Automobiles and then it's under Garrett Smith tab if you go to our website. And I went and had some photos printed today, and this, um, the theme of this journal is going to be travel. And uh, I'm going to document a, a journey from California through Arizona um, here um, in Texas, where we're at right now. And this is some cool events that we did, Brooke's birthday. And I'll show you once I get done how I lay them out and stuff. So first what I'm going to do is work on the, the cover. And to do this, I'm going to rip the edges to kind of give it a torn look around the edge and then I'm going to glue it to the cover and I'm going to use this page that says exploration and um, so join me back um, as I do that and I'll show you how it looks and I want to get a distressed edge on here so I'm going to use this stays on around the edges it's a timber brown and uh, to do this I'm just going to lift it up a little bit and just rub it on the edge I'm not going to go all the way to the center because I'm going to put the paper over the center. So that looks pretty good. It's right there. All right. Yes. Please get out of here. All right. And so I'm going to glue this down, do some more distressing. And I might spray it a little bit too. Okay, I got a question for you guys. Do you get mad when you can't get your glue out of your bottle? Not coming out. I want to show you real quick what I'm doing. Um, I decided to follow this all the way through the book, uh, doing the stays on around the edges, and then I'm going back over to kind of fill in the lighter spots. And I want to blend it in so it's not just a dark color, then it jumps to the chipboard. So I want to kind of get a color in between. The dark and go to a lighter color, a little bit lighter, and then it goes to the light chipboard. So I already did the stays on around the edges, and then I'm just going to take this Prima, um, it's a chalk, chalk ink, and just blend it in. Like that. I smell something cooking. It smells good. I know y'all can't smell it through the camera, through the video, but I sure can smell it. It makes me hungry. All right, now I'm going to keep doing this all the way through the book. And the way I, my layout's going to be real simple throughout this book. It's going to be paper like this, pattern paper. And glue it down on the left or the right. Picture's going to go on the right or left. And I'm going to do a little bit of journaling on each. Uh, tag it or label it so I kind of know what which is what which is what or however you say that and then I'm going to embellish it a little bit put some metal stuff on there so I'm going to finish doing this and then I'll I'll cut back to the next uh, next technique <music> Let's do a little walkthrough. This is the cover. Did a little stamps on the on the edging, or the edges of it. Got my envelope here, so I can slide some some notes or something down in there. It's a picture of. Let's see if you can see it. Of the road, it's got a sign. Really can't see it. it won't focus, but this sign says Phoenix, 241 miles. And uh, I guess we're leaving 
California at that point, going through Arizona, and then I wrote here. It says, road trips with all of my kids is the best feeling, no matter how many restroom breaks we take. It seems like we take a ton when we go on the road, but we got to stop every two hours, or we'll have a huge blow up. No, I'm talking about diapers. I just mean they'll be fighting in the in the back. Here's a picture. Okay, here's the next page. This works out better. It's a little bit closer. And uh, got Blake here. We're standing outside Arizona. And uh, the caption says, oh yeah, we didn't see any snakes. Uh, Blake was curious. He wanted to see if we could find some snakes. Because there's a sign that said, be careful for, for bugs and snakes and poisonous stuff. And... Um, Here's some news clippings, newspaper clippings. I inked the edges and then I went back over and stamped the edges. And um, here's the other side. I cut back them out. And um, this, this says, you started getting restless at Blake's graduation. So I took you outside and you were enjoying the clouds and the birds. Always keep your curiosity. See, he's looking up. He was curious about everything Let's see this. this is just a blank page I just glued down a pattern paper I think later on I'll go back and journal over it here's a picture of me and my grandmother back home when he had super long hair and then Blake he's kind of zoned off and then Brooks on my grandmother's lap and uh, this was after right after the funeral got a nice little family picture and I put it A little picture of, of Blake. He was a uh, we were at Home Goods. He saw this little chef guy statue. And he wanted to go stand by him. Thought he was cool. Here's a picture of Brooke. It's kind of blurry because we were on a ride uh, at her birthday. And did a little some more ink uh, stamps stamped on the edges. And this was at her birthday. See me, my dad, and my brother. And the last, last one it says Waxahachie, Texas, eight hours six minutes away. That's when I start getting antsy in the car. And there's Becca. I'm happy to to be getting home. And this just kind of shows. I I printed this out on my phone. I took a screenshot of the Google Maps. And then you can cut that out if you're doing like a road trip journal. And then it shows the path that you take. It's kind of cool. Look, right when you enter into Texas and you go to El Paso, that's eight hours. So you're happy to be in Texas, but then, man, you still have a long ways to go. And that's it. I've left it kind of blank because I'm going to work on this throughout the month. Try to finish this up. I tried to do one of these a couple years ago and just never never finished it so I started a new one and uh, another reason is I couldn't find it um, and then I tied some stuff on the edges here all right I hope you like it uh, make sure to subscribe and like and share it and, um, see you next time